when you just know, you know. I feel like right in the very beginning of our relationship, like I just really felt like this person wants to grow with me. A few years ago, I was in a cafe uh, with a friend of mine and I saw her working. I like opened an invitation, like I gave my phone number and was kind of just like, oh, if you ever want to like hang out or whatever, um, let me know. And uh, I basically got left on red. She was <laughs> not interested, clearly. <laughs> and then I think I like saw a like performance video or something of you. I mean, that's slightly. It was it was a thirst trap. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I saw a thirst trap, and then I like it came back around. Um, basically, yeah. So then she slid back into my DMs, and then we went on our first date. I think pretty recently after that, and then. Um, Ooh, and we, then we went on like three dates in the same week. Yeah. After our like first date. Yeah. And then I think we were like in a relationship after Within probably a, a month. Months, yeah. yeah. I feel like both of us were very just like open and honest about so many aspects of ourselves. Seeing you from like day one, basically in your transition, I think it's like been this amazing building block in one way because I've truly got to see a person come to fruition. Going through a transition and having like so much support from you um, has like made it so much easier in a lot of ways I think because like transitioning is hard enough let alone like transitioning by yourself. If you are you know getting to know someone who is going through a transition or or um, you know, maybe you're in a relationship with someone who's transitioning. I think the number one thing to remember is that you are there to be a support system, um, but it's not necessarily your journey to give advice on. A lot of the dating experiences that the men who are interested in and want to date trans women um, don't necessarily want to publicly date trans women. We're at a place where like, trans women are begging men to like just be public and be open with like who you're interested in and who you want to date. There's a lot of like trans misogyny totally happens. For example, on the show, when she was, you know, the the partner that was brought on through the video call, um, I saw a lot of comments like on my own post and they're like, what the hell? I don't get it. Like, he's gay. And that sort of like is falling into what I'm trying to say is that like it doesn't necessarily need a label. I have lived the majority of my life identifying or self-identifying as a gay male. Um, so for me in our relationship, it's been very cool to sort of allow and learn new things about myself. And when I told my mom, the first thing that she said to me was, don't put yourself in a box. She's like, sexuality is like a Rubik's cube. It's always changing and there's no pressure on always just being one thing. And once I allowed that to sort of flow into my mind, it just, it made me a lot more calm with everything. With the sort of positive feedback that like I think we both saw, especially from the show and like when when we came out about our relationship, people being like, this makes me so proud to be in a relationship with a trans person, or this makes me want to be, go out and tell my family that I'm in a relationship with a trans person, or on the other end, you know, trans people being like, wow, this makes me like, you know, feel comfortable in, in my, in my, or hopeful or whatever it is. And it's like, that's sort of like, why I why we wanted to do this and why we why we want to go public if you will. I think we both get very affirming messages from people yeah. on like both sides who just like really appreciate our relationship and like appreciate like being able to see it on various platforms and however it like comes out and us just like being public and being open. And I think that if you experience shame it just like doing your best to work through it to like kind of like destigmatize for other people. Mm -hmm. um, it's all like because representation is really like at the end of the day is like the mm -hmm. most important thing. Visibility is so important, and visibility really can save lives in so many different aspects. And if that means loving trans people openly or whatever this sort of aspect of visibility means to you, just like really remember that that sort of representation matters a lot.